Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be making a new banner. Right now, it's just a little boring and I think I could spice it up a bit. I know a lot of YouTubers use Canva, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna make my own illustration for my banner. I figure making the banner will be relatively simple, so I'm pretty sure I can just draw the whole thing today and film my whole process. And since I wanna make everything quick and pretty clean, I think I'm just gonna draw everything digitally, which means working over at my desk. So I'll see you over there. <laughs> Okay, here we are at my desk. Right now we're looking at my current banner for YouTube. You can see that there's like two blocks here, two different versions of it. There's this way to have it so it's a block on TV and then a block that's on all devices. It's a little confusing. I just know that this is currently working and if I build out my new design within this framework, it'll work. I've been looking at different references. This is an entire board that I've just put together over the years that's just all these different illustrations that I like that are on Pinterest. Currently, I'm really into things that are kind of like this, just very simplified design, right? Few colors, I really like it, I think it's cool. Other things that I'm really liking are big mask things and just weird characters. I love stuff like this too. This is just some cool pops of color that I'm into. The first thing I wanna do is kind of start playing around with shapes. I wanna see if I can just kind of come up with something that's just graphic and fun. We have the first sketch. I think it's cool. I think it's fun. <laughs> I uh, designed this like cool little guy or big guy, I guess. I designed this guy to uh, kind of interact with the title a little bit. As I'm moving forward onto the second sketch, I think I like the making art having fun as kind of the secondary flavor text. I don't really know right now. I might change that, we'll see how it goes. But right now, I, I kind of like it. I might change my mind. I don't know. See how things go. the second one kind of playing around with more of the characters here I the plan was to have at least one into the shot so that for all screens there would be at least one character and then the idea was to if people saw it on desktop have two characters on the side kind of just hanging out looking at the title I also like having the flavor text in two separate places I think that's kind of cool So I've been working on this one sketch for quite a while now. I wanna come up with a bunch of different shaped faces that would be fun to see on a banner. But I think I'm just, I'm having a little bit of a hard time just kind of coming up with those right now. I think I'm gonna just move on, maybe come back to it, potentially just have a better option. I think in those first few, I'm just getting a little bit overly complicated. Looking back at my references again, I, again, it's like, I wanna keep things really simple. I think I'm only gonna to try to include like maybe one to three characters and not just do a whole bunch of them. I think that starts to really complicate things. So I do like this face that I drew on the left side, but I don't know if it's really working. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell. I, I like the general idea. I think it's cool. I think if I were to go to with this, I might want to explore something else here, potentially. Maybe like a sun type shape that kind of mimics this. Yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, I'm going to try that real quick. cool. Yeah, that's fun. I kind of got some cool organic pieces in there as well as some of these like big shapes like that I, I was talking about. I still have another idea so I'm gonna draw that real quick and if I like that more then that might be the one I go with but right now this and the first one feel like the best. I think I 
finally have something I like. I'm really, I'm really enjoying this one. I think it's cool. It has a lot of the elements that I've been liking throughout the other designs and it's pretty simple. It's very shapey. It's what I kind of wanted to do. It's also got a little bit of text kind of explaining what my channel is. I think I might change having fun. I don't know what to. I, I just, I don't know what else to put. <laughs> I am having fun, but I don't, I don't know what I want that text to be. I just talked to my girlfriend and I showed her these sketches and she agrees that this one is the best one to move forward on. She did have one note, however, and that was to move the making art up here. And yeah, I agree with her. I think this looks a lot better. The only thing is I do kind of feel like something needs to go here. I don't know what. I do like this the most. So I think I'm just gonna move forward and if I can think of something while I'm drawing it out, then I'll add it there. I might get all the way to the end and just decide, no, this is good. So let's move it on to the next step. So whenever I'm lining, I usually bring the smoothing up to about 50 to 60. Kind of doesn't really matter. I just drag it until it hits about around one of those numbers. And what it does is it allows me to slow down the pen tool a little bit and it makes it just a little bit easier to control to get a much smoother line. So that's a line at 50 to 60. And we'll put it down to zero. And you'll see that it's just, it's fine. It's just, it's not as smooth and I have to draw a lot quicker and it's a lot less controlled. Like it's just so much harder to get any of the edges I want. If I start to draw slow, it just gets really wiggly. So if you're having trouble just kind of lining any of your drawings when you're working digitally, highly recommend bringing that smoothing tool up to about 50 to 60. I'm gonna go with 60 for now because I don't know, just seems right for the moment. Whenever I'm drawing digitally, I try to use the tools at my disposal as often as possible. So this guy's head, it's very circular, right? So I'm going to build it like it's a circle instead of trying forever to try to draw that nice curvature. The only thing is when you go into use the stroke like this, you do want to make sure that it's at enough pixels that it matches the line weight that you're lining everything at. And then once you have the stroke that you want, you just go in and erase the rest out. So I think I still want to do a black background. I think that's just cool and very strong. I might change my mind as I continue through putting the color in, but yeah, I'm going to start with black as the base and just start putting in some colors that I think would be cool. So now I'm going to create the version that's kind of for televisions. It's just a little bit taller, so it's just going to be shifting a few things around a bit. Okay. I think that's pretty cool. It looks like me. <laughs> it's got a fun font. It's got some, a few fun little characters and it's got some, it's got some shapes. It's got some cool shit. Yeah. This feels like me. This feels good. Okay. So I'm going to do a test real quick and see what it looks like uploaded to the channel, see if it works. Okay, so it almost works. It's not quite fitting yet. I kind of had to guess at the dimensions because as you can see here, it crops it off for some reason. I don't know why it does that. <laughs> YouTube, your system doesn't quite work. <laughs> okay, it's working now. I think everything's in place. And when I hit done, I think that worked. Now we go here and it looks like it's working. I feel like it looks really flat. I think it would be cool if 
I added some texture. So I'm gonna turn off the big one uh, that's for the TV, just so I can kind of like focus on the main one that most people are gonna see. I think instead of orange, I'm gonna make this guy's hair pink. I was kind of thinking of it as like kind of a Muppet version of me before, but I think it's just, it's just a different character. It's just some big pink guy. Okay, let's see if I can find some texture. I do have all these texture brushes. Let's see if those will do anything fun. That's kind of cool. I do like that. Yeah, that's already looking a lot better. I think that's a lot more interesting, actually. I'm just gonna compare that to the big TV one, just as kind of a comparison. Yeah. It helps to make things just a little bit off. When everything's perfect, it just doesn't feel right. This looks cool. I think I'm gonna try to get a texture under the background and see what that looks like. This is sick. I love this. <laughs> I think this is really cool. It's simple. There's just enough detail that it's kind of making things a little bit more interesting. I'm going to copy all this over to the TV size one. And then I think that's it. I'll try it out again in the, uh, on the YouTube channel, see if it looks good. And I have a feeling it will. and it's all transferred over. I did decide to make this guy a bit bigger on the TV one. I think it just makes sense. It's a bigger screen. Might as well make the character bigger. Let's test it out. Let's see if it works. I like these. I think these are cool. I think they're very fun. This is cool. I'm happy with this. Okay, let's see it on my channel. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Thank you guys so much for watching. I loved doing this. I think this was really cool to just kind of whip out a quick art project, do a little art demo and talk about my process and yeah, just record myself on the fly. It feels a lot better to do things like this. This is kind of how the Triptych series was and yeah, I'll be doing a lot more art demos. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out to the end. Please like the video if you like it, subscribe if you're new, and I'll hopefully see you next week. Bye.